Hello and welcome to Rooster Jokes. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. A motorway walks into a pub one day. He goes up to the bar and orders himself a drink. He just sits down when he walks a strip of tarmac. The motorway sees the tarmac and starts to panic, so he jumps over the bar and ducks down so it won't see him. The barman looks down at him and says, What's the matter with you? Why are you hiding? You've got six lanes and two hard shoulders. Why are you frightened of a piece of tarmac? The motorway replies, You don't know him like I do. He's a psychopath. <laughs> a conclusion is the place where you got tired of thinking. <laughs> Three vampires walk into a bar and sit down at a table. The waitress comes over and asks the first vampire what he would like. The first vampire responds, I would like some blood. The waitress turns to the second vampire and asks what he would like. The vampire responds, I would like some blood. The waitress turns to the third vampire and asks what he would like. The vampire responds, I would like some plasma. The waitress looks up and says, Let me see if I have this order correct. You want two bloods and a blood light? <laughs> a clear conscience is usually the sign of a bad memory. <laughs> a bartender is just a pharmacist with a limited inventory. <laughs> A flashlight is a case for holding dead batteries. <laughs> John Smith lived in Staten Island, New York and worked in Manhattan. He had to take the ferry boat home every night. One evening, he got down to the ferry and found there was a wait for the next boat. So John decided to stop at a nearby tavern. Before long, he was feeling no pain. When he got back to the ferry slip, the ferry boat was just 8 feet from the dock. Smith, afraid of missing this one and being late for dinner, took a running leap and landed right on the deck of the boat. How did you like that jump, buddy? said a proud John to a deckhand. It was great, said the sailor. But why didn't you wait? We were just pulling in. <laughs> Upon entering the little country store, the stranger noticed a sign saying, Danger! Beware of dog! Posted on the glass door. Inside, he noticed a harmless old hound dog slip on the floor beside the cash register. He asked the store manager, Is that the dog folks are supposed to beware of? Yep, that's him, he replied. The stranger couldn't help but be amused. That certainly doesn't look like a dangerous dog to me. Why in the world would you post that sign? Because, the owner replied, Before I posted that sign, people kept tripping over him. <laughs> a man jumps out of an airplane with a parachute on his back. As he's falling, he realizes his chute is broken. He doesn't know anything about parachutes, but as the earth rapidly approaches, he realizes his options are limited. He takes off the parachute and tries to fix it himself on the way down. The wind is ripping past his face, he's dropping like a rock, and at 5,000 feet, another man goes shooting up past him. In desperation, the man with the chute looks up and yells, Hey, do you know anything about parachutes? The guy falling up looks down and yells, No! Do you know anything about gas stoves? <laughs> a man walks into a pub with a neck brace around his neck. He asks for a pint. The bartender gives him one. Then the man asks, Who's in the lounge? The bartender replies, Fifteen people playing darts. The man says, Get them a pint too. Then he asks, Who's upstairs? The bartender replies, 150 people at the disco. 
The man says, "Get them a drink too." The bartender says, "That will be three hundred and twenty-eight dollars, please." The man says, "Sorry, but I haven't got that much money on me." The bartender says, "If you were at the pub a mile from here, they would broke your neck." The man says. I've already been there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. To hear more jokes, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Goodbye.